Okay, we're on lesson 2.7, page 43. And before we begin looking at this, I just want to go over some important vocabulary. When I'm looking at this problem, 140 divided by 16 equals 8. I just want to point out that the number inside is called your dividend, and it is what is being shared. Uh, so in this problem, uh, what is being shared is when Warren spent 140 hours making 16 wooden toys. What is being shared is the total amount of hours that he spent. And he's going to be sharing those by 16 wooden toy trucks. So that is going to be your divisor. He's splitting those total of 140 hours, the total number that's being shared by 16 wooden toys and he gets his quotient which is the number of hours that was spent on each toy. So let's look at number two. We're going to do two and four today. Number two says Marcia has 412 bouquets of flowers for centerpieces. She uses eight flowers for each centerpiece. How many centerpieces can she make? So again I'm going to go through cubes. I'm going to circle the important the numbers and what they represent. So I have 412 bouquets and I have eight flowers for each of those centerpieces and so the question you is underlined I'm going to underline the question how many centerpieces can she make again she's using eight for each so I've done my C circle I did my U underline B is box so what I'm realizing is that she uses them so she's using eight of them but for each centerpiece. So I actually have two keywords that are able to help me find out. And then E is to eliminate and evaluate. So I don't see there's any unnecessary information. It's a pretty basic word problem. So I'm going to evaluate. So very first thing is my dividend. What is being shared? What is being shared is 412 bouquets of flowers for centerpieces. She uses eight flowers for each centerpiece. So, divided by 8. And so when I divide that, I'm actually going to rewrite it using a number house. And again, when we discussed this, we saw that the first number is what goes inside of the number house. So 412 will go inside. Again, my dividend was being shared. We talked about um, them running from a hurricane and trying to seek shelter. The very first one gets in the shelter, and the other one is stuck, in, stuck knocking outside of the door. So when I do this, I want to figure out if I have 4, can I divide it by 8? No. And so since I can't do 4 divided by 8, I move into my tens place. Can I do 41 divided by 8? Well, yes, I can, but let me think about my multiples. About how many times can it go in? 4 times what will get me as close to, I'm just looking at that 41, 4 times what will get me as close to 41 as possible. Right, 4 times 5 will get me to as close to 41 as possible. So essentially, for each of those bouquet centerpieces, I have 5 for each of my 8 that I have just used. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking 8 centerpieces times 5 flowers in each, and I'm subtracting that. I'm subtracting 8 times 5, 8 times 5, subtracting 40. When I subtract 41 from 40, I have one left over. Check this remainder against my divisor. It's good, so since it's less than my divisor, I'm gonna drop this down, and now I have 12. 12 divided by eight. Again, thinking about my multiples, I know it can go in at least one time. Can it go in two? Well, since eight times two is 16, and I only have 12, I know it can't go in two times. So let's do one. And again, essentially what I'm doing is I'm giving one flower to each of my eight centerpieces. So eight times one means I'm taking eight away. When I take those away, I end up with a remainder of four. Now what we discussed, again, check your remainder against your divisor. Since four is less than eight, I know it can't go in again. I essentially, this is saying take four divided by eight. I can't do that. So I'm going to express my remainder as a fraction, 4 eighths, which I also know 4 eighths is equivalent to 1 half. I can divide my numerator and my denominator both by 4, and so I have 51 and a half centerpieces. But the question asks me, 
how many centerpieces can she make? Well, unfortunately, at a wedding, we're not gonna have a half a centerpiece, so she really can only make 51 centerpieces and she'll just have some flowers left over. So your answer here is just 51. It would not be a very cute centerpiece at a wedding if there was only half one. And looking at your next one, and again, just do it with me and you'll be good to go. One plant container holds 14 tomato seedlings. If you have 1,113 seedlings, how many containers do you need to hold all the seedlings? So again, go through cubes, circle my important numbers, 1,113 seedlings, 14 tomato seedlings in one container. So I'm putting that with it. Um, you is to underline the question, which is, how many containers do you need to hold all the seedlings? Um, my B, then we're going through cubes. My B is to box in operation word. How many containers do you need? One plant holds 14 seedlings. If you have this many, I'm gonna say, maybe the one plant part is kind of giving me an idea. Um, and then maybe to hold all the seedlings. So again, I'm taking 1,113 total seedlings and 14 seedlings for one plant. Again, if I want to rewrite this in the number house, they're running the race trying to get into shelter and whoop, 1,113 gets the shelter and 14 is knocking on the door. Since I don't know my multiple for 14, I can find a nice, friendly, compatible number that I might know my multiples for better. So some nice round number. Um, you might know your multiples for 10. You might know your multiples for 20. And in this case, I know 15s because I know my clock time. So I'm gonna do 15s. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90 and hopefully that's enough. Uh, I'll go one more at 105, you know, 120 and keep going 15 more each time. So this is just going to help me to estimate about how many times it'll go in. So again, if I'm just looking at that first digit, one, if I have one, I can't divide it by 14. So I'm going to go to my next place. If I have like 11 seeds, can I put 14 into a container? No. So I have to go all the way here and 111. About how many times can 14 go into 111? 111 seedlings, 14 per container. Can I go in at least one time? Two times? Three times? Again, I have 111. Four times? Five times? Six times? Seven times? If I did eight times, it would go to 120. Uh, this seems too high, so I'm going to try 7 at 105 and see if it works. If it doesn't work, then I just look at it and adjust it. 7 times 4 is 28. Drop your 8 and regroup your 2. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 2 more is 9. So essentially, I'm taking 111 and I'm subtracting 98. So I have one and I want to take away eight. I can't do that. So I'm going to go here, borrow from my tenths place and make that a zero. And now I'll do 11 take away eight, which is three. Here I really have zero take away nine, but if you look at the whole thing, I have 10 take away nine is one. So I have a remainder of 13. If I check my remainder of 13 against my divisor, I know that eight worked because I only have 13 left, and I can't split those 13 into 14 groups, so that's fine. If this number was bigger than my divisor, then that would mean I need to go up and add one more, but it's not, so we're good. Drop down my three. Now I have 133 into equal groups of 14. So here we stopped at 120, and it looked like that was, uh, I still have a little bit more than that, so plus 15 more would be 135. It's potential that it could go in uh, that many times because we're using multiples of 15, so we kind of rounded up. So let's see, one, two, again, I have 133. It can go in three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, eight times, nine times. So I'm gonna try the nine and see if it works. Again, it's just an estimation, so it's not always exact. 
9 times 4 is 36. So drop down your 6 and regroup that 3. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 3 more is 12. I cannot do 3 take away 6 so I'm going to come here and change the 3 to a 2 and now 13 take away 6 is 7. Check your remainder against your divisor. Since 7 is less than 14 I know I can't share any more. I don't have any other digits to drop down so this becomes a remainder. So this is saying 7 divided by 14 and 7 divided by 14 can also be expressed as a fraction remainder of 7 fourteenths. Remainder over your divisor. So 7 fourteenths is equivalent to what? It's actually equivalent to a smaller equivalent fraction. I can divide my numerator and my denominator both by the same number. I can divide them both by 7 and if I divide them both by 7, 7 divided by 7 is 1 and 14 divided by 7 is 2. So again, I got 7 fourteenths, and I could have expressed that as 7 fourteenths here, but I know that 7 fourteenths is also equivalent to a half. So when I divided the total number of seedlings by 14 seedlings per container, I got 79 and a half. But let me see what do I need to do with it. It says, how many containers do you need to hold all the seedlings? So I need to decide, do I need just 79? Do I need 79 and a half? Do I need 80? We always talk about what do I need to do with that. So when I'm going back to the question, if I want to use all the seeds, I actually am going to have to buy one extra container. I need 80 containers. I can't buy half of a container. So since I can't buy half of a container, I have to round up to the next whole number and I have to buy that extra container so that all of my seedlings are in a container. See you guys tomorrow. If you write the word dog and put it on a piece of paper with your name on it, you will be getting a special treat tomorrow. And again, have a great night. There's a look back and I'll see you guys tomorrow.